Um, do you find yourself, let's get into that why, do you find yourself when you finally find time for yourself or you're with your family on a vacation or whatever, you find yourself thinking about work? D does it tug you? Does it pull back, back on you? It or are you to, able to kind of shut it out? It used to. Yeah, me too. It used to. It, I used to be a, a slave to the, yeah. you know, and we're in client services. We work, we serve people oh, yeah. know, all day long in varying ways. I And I used to be like, can't miss a message. Yep. And I don't know, probably, probably sometime around COVID, I, I was like this. Why? Why? why like in, this? Uh, in, in Carl Smith's uh, bureau membership slack it's like a it's like a running joke because it's all people who do what we do they're agency owners studio yeah. owners it's like a running joke through all the slack channels that like well i'm on vacation taking my laptop you know like it's like it's like a known thing that everyone's going to wake up before their family does answer emails and talk to their team and right. then put it away for the afternoon like when did that come become back okay when I mean, it's like a known thing when did your family their second when did making Answering someone's email or yeah. responding to a request so that you can retain a client or, yeah. or make that extra dollar. When did that take precedence over the value of quality time with people? That I you think love? it starts because, like, if I think back to me, uh, let me start by saying I can't, with the exception of the last two vacations that me and my family took, we went to Alaska, went to Colorado over the past two years, two different times. A new shit as far as work for either one. It was glorious. But before that, you know, we'd taken eight or ten, you know, big trips. We always try to take a big trip every year. I can't remember one where I didn't work. You know, but I think it starts from from a from a business owner or an entrepreneur standpoint. You know, I've never been anything else, so I can't, you know, it's my experience. It starts with, well, I have to protect this thing. Sure. You know, and and while my family's there's, mad there's at here. My, while my family's mad at me, I'm doing it because I have to keep it going so that they can get more of these things that we're doing right now. Like that's the story I was telling myself. So like the family is still number that's one. How I validated it. The family is still number one, but the yeah. but the the needing to this is just the price I have grow to the pay. business is what I have to do. It's the price to put my family yeah. first. Yep. But what I realized was that was just validation. It was just validation. I mean, you can tell them, hey, I'll be back in two weeks. And, you know, nine, time, nine, nine out of ten people are like, okay, cool, talk to you in two weeks. Like, most people get it, you know? So, yeah, so so back on that why. They're so the same as you. So the there's the fear. It, it feels like it yeah. feels like for a oh, lot yeah. of folks it's 100%. fear. I'm going to lose my job oh, if yeah. I'm not there every day. Or, or you're um, new in the process of building something. You're like, I can't lose momentum or right. whatever. Or, or the fear of losing whatever momentum. Or the fear of losing a client. Or the mm -hmm. fear of missing an opportunity. I feel like that thread runs pretty deeply yeah, in this narrative of the really culture. feel it yeah um and, and uh and I, I wonder why people have those fears i mean i think i think they're real for, for the most you know i mean for the well i mean yeah just to be upfront about it i think fear, fear is a you know is a real thing well let's face it we're like you say we're in a services business it's important to take care of your clients right if it happens to fall when you're out of town well you know it's when it falls like it's a real thing. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, I, I used to be nonstop yeah. on the, you know, super responsible. Like, me too. Like, 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 like telling our clients, we love them. Yeah. We, sh we, we, we show them that by being super responsive. Mm -hmm. And I think we're still pretty good at that, but yeah. But in the last couple of years, post COVID, I have gotten much better yeah. about putting that shit down and, 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 and removing that distraction from my being yeah. present for whatever the thing is um I, you know so i'll give you some examples and we're jumping right in but like you know when i coach soccer anything that i have to do where it's active i, I just don't even bring the phone because it is it's like driving it's, it's you know checking your messages while you're, it's it's just inherently mm -hmm. dangerous yeah you can't drive well and do other stuff you can't be actively and presently engaged in something and actually have your mind elsewhere and i have i have i have i have caught myself in conversations, even like when you and I are like in a meeting, mm -hmm. we're talking about something, checking my phone. Oh, I do it too. And I'm like, I constantly. I don't do remember it. what he just said. Like, yeah. you know, this, this idea. So, so for me, it's this idea of being. And then you feel focused dumb, and intent, like, like intent, intentional about it. But like, but this fear is real. And I, 